<laughs> okay, clean slate. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. You know what it is, baby. I'm your boy DeAnthony, my boy Don, and my boy C Jack over here. And you know we go see these movies, right? So we just came back from seeing Slight. Magic Man. <laughs> oh. So, <laughs> nice. Slight. Nice. Nice. So if you don't know what it is, it's pretty much a black superhero movie. And it is not produced by Key and Peele or uh, Jordan Peele. That's like a rumor going around. But it is a great movie, I would have to say. All right, so in the movie, we got our main actor is Jacob Lattimore. And he's from Collateral Beauty. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you guys didn't see that, uh, he was Will Smith. Time. Yeah, he played Time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then Dulé Hill, he is on Ballers. He plays the kind of like the douchebag coach. Or agent or coach? Yeah, he's yeah. like the coach. He's helping like the big dude or whatever, right. mm -hmm. hiring him or whatever. Yeah. Um, so you guys know those two. You know who we're talking about. Yeah. Everyone else is pretty much brand new. It's a new director, seems like. J.D. Diller. Mm -hmm. He seems to be his directorial debut. <laughs> um, nothing much that he's really done. So um, as far as that's concerned, I thought he did a really good job being that it was like his first time. It's a different type of black movie. You know, usually we get like the dramas, the love stories, comedy, comedies, yeah. or some sometimes they're supposed to be comedies, but not funny. Right. But <laughs> um, and this one, it, it was a serious movie, right. but it had a twist with the sci-fi, the, the, yeah, yeah. Sci superhero, you know, element, you know, you know, it kind of reminded me of like Dope, Dope, yeah, reminded me of Dope. Um, if you guys ever seen Dope, it mm -hmm. just kind of had like that type of feel. Mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised that he didn't direct Dope because I feel like. It was like the same type of style. It, it did feel like uh, that. It was like a combination of that and like something M. Night Shyamalan would have done like with uh, Unbreakable or um, uh, Split or something, right, you know? Right, right. It had that type of feel, which Joking. which is, is, is definitely different. I did appreciate it for that type of, um, I guess, value or, um, I guess, taking a chance. Yeah, yeah, it was different. It was definitely different. Definitely. Um, so, we got the main actor. What do you guys think about the whole like, Plot. So we got, you know, the black guy, he's, mm -hmm. you know, having trouble. We had his mom and dad pass. Right. And he has to find a way to try to take care of his sister. Yeah. Which she was adorable, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I think she was. She, she did a brilliant yeah. job. All these children actors, were you guys getting, are you breeding them now? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. They're top notch, you know. She was um, balling at a certain point. Oh, I was no, like, like, oh, man. I was man. just like, oh, man. Like, yeah. I just Little want to sister. Right. right. Yeah. So you know? he, he's a drug dealer. You well, know, no, I, trying to make it. It was definitely a, a typical out, like for most most movies, not just just a black movie, but like even like Latino movies or anything like that. It's just it's it's obvious out. You're in that neighborhood, and that's the first thing you re revert to. Why? Because I get you income, right? And um and it sucks because I genuinely loved his character. I really really liked who he was, what he did, and just his presence, his stage presence it was great. And it's like. It sucked to see him do what he was doing because I'm like, bro, like here's twenty bucks. Like, yeah, like you can tell that like he he was very talented. He oh, yeah. had the natural talent with the whole magic aspect, but he was also very intelligent with uh, you know the uh, mechanical electronic yeah. parts yeah. that he he was doing uh, to incorporate with his magic. Right. So I mean, it, it was dope, but like you know he was you know struck with the tragic disaster, his mom dad passing having. Mm -hmm. To take over that, you know, parental right. it, it, role. It's hard because it's like you either can provide or they take the kids. So it's like, well, right. am I, if I work at the grocery store, am I going to be able to still pay this yeah. rent? You know, I so mean, it's so like, my sister's taken care of. You know, you give, yeah. you know, that's actually an honest to god like amazing public statement. There, it's just the, uh, you know, I wouldn't imagine that there are brilliant minds like this trapped by the, by the walls of money. Finance, and, yeah. and these mm -hmm. these Everything. people can mm -hmm. possibly change the world, but because people are so greedy, we're never going to advance. Because pe kids like this, I mean, yeah. mind you, it was a fiction, but this does exist. So it right. really sucks that that's the stopping ground between yeah. an actual, you know, evolution of humanity. So it just uh, that's definitely. I just thought of that as we were talking about it. So, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so it is a serious movie, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. it has an underlining of you know, that sci-fi aspect. So it's still yeah. grounded. It's not goofy. No. You know, it's still like, if this was the real world, <laughs> mm -hmm. how do we become, you know, more than what we are? You know, and, and he's a... Uh, uh, street magician. Street, street performer. Magician. Yeah. Right. And he wants to be more than what he really is. Mm -hmm. And he, he goes past the boundaries of like the normal person oh, yeah. right. would do, you know, and he puts these electrodes in his arm 
and he has it running all down his arm, and that's how he does like his his magic or how he has a superpower. I yeah, guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was like brilliant. You know, so he is a smart kid. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but you know, that's a, a thing that I was wondering or I was thinking about. Like, you're so smart, but you are so like little on a totem pole as far as like this whole drug deal thing is going on. Like, you can't outsmart anyone else in like right. see, doing it better or whatever. But that's just a little thing that I just thought about because mm-hmm. when you give me a brilliant kid, I'm thinking like he just thinks outside the box all the time. Right, yeah. exactly. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> he, he does bring that up uh, in a certain part of the movie where he's just like, you know, this was only going to be temporary until like I can, you know, get back on our feet and like actually yeah. like get out of here, you know. And it just time, you know, it's just time just flies. And then as soon right. as you know, it, years rolled around, yep. you know. And I, I definitely know how that can be just like, you know, with working actually yeah. just like it's the hustle you know just get yeah. up and make that money and pay their pay the bills every day right so what you guys think about like the whole um hero the villain complex what you thought about that yeah yeah, yeah no you know like honestly um <clears throat> when you first meet um the the, 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 the main drug dealer uh you, you kind of don't get that sense that he's he's that abruptly like a, a, a douche right, right. um and, he, and it's like he transforms during the film but it's, it's like almost that that was always part of him Mm-hmm. But it's all—all all this was developing. But um, I, I really learned to hate that guy quick. <laughs> I, I just quit. Yeah. Like, I mean, my light switch went on the moment he just barges in the house and acts like that's okay. I'm like, homeboy, you get no, get out on my doorstep. You don't belong on my like, no. But um, I, I yeah. appreciated it because all of it felt like a beginning phase of something more grand. Sure. You yeah. know, like if if there were ever to be an origins, like a legitimate origins of young Joker and Batman, <laughs> this would be it because they definitely have that cooking now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. It's It reminds me a lot of N. Night Shyamalan's, you know, um, Unbreakable. Yeah. Because it, it was a, a grounded mm-hmm. story mm-hmm. about a normal guy right. that just so happened to discover that he had some type of superpower. Yeah. You know, and, but for me, mm-hmm. that kind of hurt it a little bit because it took so long for us to get to that point. I really wanted more of it. I wanted the story to kind of maybe start in the middle of where they gave us like because right. it was kind of too far back like yeah. his girlfriend I think they should have already been together mm-hmm. and then when she wants to stay over and watch her sister makes sense yeah yeah but <laughs> that it was weird quick. he just meets he meets this girl they go on like the first date or second date second date and she just stays over like let me have you for over for dinner with uh, my little sister and uh, neighbor yeah right and he has to go and she's like oh I don't know I don't mind staying I'll watch her for you I'm like, what? I said, I gotta go. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, like, let me drop you off. I, I can't trust you with my shit. Right, like, no, I'm sorry. You didn't hear me. We have to go. Yeah. You didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if they would have started in the middle, I think it would have been a stronger uh, story, but yeah. I still appreciated it for what they were trying to do. Yeah, yeah. He, just to build that relationship with her, like, okay, they've been through kind of a lot you know, and she's got his back up until this point, you know? Right. So, was there anything that you guys would, would, that you would change about the movie? It left me wanting too much. Mm-hmm. Like, I just, uh, I watched it, and I, I was, I, I, I was in, very involved with this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but the thing is, it's like, um, they're in, in usual plots, you know, you have your build up, you have your climax of the story, and, you know, this, this movie built up, and I feel like even, his his the, you know towards the ending where he, he he uses the power so to speak, I still didn't feel um, like gratified at the end. I wasn't like, D-. and then at the end they hint to like something even bigger, and I'm just like, you know, show me like. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I you know th- maybe it was budgeting. I don't know, and and maybe you know ironically enough, I was kind of tripping out that WWE you know was a, a oh, you know, yeah. that was pretty this. random. Gonna bring that up. By WWE. Great pick because I yeah. really enjoyed this flick. I would like another one because I'd like to know more. Yeah. So yeah, um, I think absolutely. to me it's probably the best production that they've ever done. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Good it job is. WWE. Yeah. Don't Hyperson. put them. We don't need any Stone Cold movies. We don't need any John Cena movies. <laughs> yeah. We just do stuff like this. Yeah, you don't need to recycle your people. You know, you just right. like pick up and say, hey, these are some actors. They know what to do. <laughs> right, right. Some real actors. Yeah. <laughs> um, so for me, I like the the, the, the fight scenes or mm. I guess if you can call it action that. Action scenes. Action scenes, all right. I like yeah. the action scenes. Um, I liked 
um, his whole tricks. I do like that. I like that. I thought it was pretty dope. Mm-hmm. You know, like even people in the theater were like, "How did you do that?" Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's a movie, girl. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't David Blaine right now. Focus. <laughs> right. He didn't really do the trick, okay? <laughs> but people were saying that, so it was yeah, oh to me. God. I thought it was way better than Now You See Me. Um, uh, now You See Me was so garbage. Yeah. Um, um, so well, part two. Well. Yes, part two. Part I mean, two. let me say, I did like yeah, part one. I, I did I like part say, one. I just watched part one. I liked it. I, I'm scared to watch part two. Uh, watch it. he, it's yeah. going to kill you. Not so much. <laughs> um, I did like his tricks more than part two, uh, Now You See Me. Right. You know, so they have like these, you know, sci-fi elements to mm-hmm. it. So it's just that I don't think that they use his brain well enough. So he's trying no. to collect some more money mm-hmm. and it goes to a arcade. I'm like, bro. If you can do tricks in the arcade, why don't you go to the casino? Right. They're in L.A. We right. have casinos. Yeah. So Hit that... that Morongo. Well, I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, like, when he was doing that in the arcade, it was like he was, you know, it was funny because that scene was actually kind of vital to me because she asked him, like, you know, you're, it's just vital. You have a little bit of time. Like, what are you doing here? Right. He was there enjoying his sister. Like, yeah. it, it, it stated that. Right. And, like, yeah, really. that's why he did that. But it seemed like he really wanted to refrain from going to that dark side of using... His capability, right? Yeah, and so mm-hmm. I think that's what stopped Black him. Black magic, because in, in order for him to have made the right money and bail <laughs> out, <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be a meme of that, by the way, just like that. Black magic, <laughs> Batman. No, <laughs> right, right. No, that's a good point. Yeah. You know, he was he really the reason why he was there. He was like, you know what? If I'm gonna go out, I'm at least go out with the ones that I love. Yeah. Right, right, right. You know, so I thought that was dope. But once you live with the people that you love even more. Right, right, right. And sacrifice that time yeah. being a casino. But I did like the way that his girlfriend was like, what are we doing here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you crazy Six hours. Boy, like, yeah. seriously, yeah. Um, right. But you have a good yeah. point, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, about how he didn't want to go to the dark side of it so that when they do have a sequel, he can become so that good hero. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, fine. Even though I don't <laughs> think there should be, like, light and dark of heroes, sometimes you got to do what what the hell you gotta do? Yeah, yeah. And he did. He did. He, he definitely did. Took... <laughs> that was yeah. so funny. <laughs> like, he's in there laughing when this dude gets his hand hacked off, and he's like chopping there. It's like ah, that was funny. Yeah. I, I'm just weird, I guess. But yeah. for the most part, I, I would have to still say that I did appreciate it. I thought it, it reminded me of another movie called uh, Kicks, where this boy he gets his shoes taken, but he is able to like escape his reality because he lives in the ghetto or whatnot. He's able to, to escape his reality by becoming an astronaut or the astronaut helps him or whatnot. So it had like that sci-fi feel as well. So I do appreciate those type of movies. This was a bigger budget, it seemed like. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you haven't seen Kicks, <clears throat> check out Kicks. It's a pretty good movie. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, I think uh, just any movie that's like kind of like in that real world element but just has that uniqueness to like a sci-fi, it, it kind of... It brings me into the aspect of, damn, yeah, that could be real. That could be yeah, cool, you right, know? It's like right. street magic, you know? It's like we're all grounded, like, yeah, this is kind of shitty. It's kind of ghetto and all this, like, hectic shit, drugs going on. But, you know, just that little spark of, a glimmer of hope, you know? Right, right, exactly. So if I had to rate it, I would probably give it a seven. I'm not sure, because there's a lot of things that I thought, you know, could have been better. Um, and I did feel like it was, like, kind of a copy of M. Night Shyamalan a little bit. Um, I would have wanted him to be, since he's like a little younger, to be a little, a little more excited about his abilities. He was just kind of like, I'm just trying to make it, man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, like, ah, man. Ah. Like, he wasn't, he wasn't like, oh my God. You see what I just did? He wasn't like that excited because he is the reason why he has an ability. So I would think that yeah. that's like an accomplishment yeah. Yeah. that he didn't really care for. So I don't know. There were, It could have been more exciting for me. But like kind of like Covenant, you know. But okay, I still enjoyed it and I appreciate it. So Chronicle. I give it a, a Chronicle. Yeah. Chronicle. Chronicle. Sorry, I like not Covenant. Covenant. I, was, I was like, wait, wait, wait. Mm-hmm. That's a different one. I haven't they seen have, this one. They have powers too. Yeah, they actually um, have the different powers. So. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Chronicle. But or yeah, craft. seven for me. Yeah. What are you guys going with? Uh, yeah, I'm like right there with you. I gotta say seven. Uh, I want to say maybe seven point five, but I think seven is like the safe like rating for me. Um. Yeah, there was a couple of things I'm like. All right, yeah, he just did this to home, dude, and, you know, they're still sticking around. Like, you see something trippy like that, you can't explain it, and it's magic. 
um, get the hell out. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, so a couple of things that questioned right away. And um, yeah, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go a little bit up just because I tend to be the one that does that in this group. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I like the movie. I'm not going to give it a 10 for Christ's sake. I'm, the, the story was good. I just, uh, I, I felt I was, too, I was left wanting way too much more. Yeah. Um, so that kind of eked it for me. Um, I was going to go about 7.5, but I really like, I usually don't get passionate about characters like this, but I was very passionate about the main character and I would really, really love to see where this goes. I want more of this, so I hope I get yeah. it. It's going to an 8 out of me. I'm, I'm going to give it an 8 because I really appreciated it. The acting in it was just phenomenal. Hero of the Villain had everything with exception to satisfying my full desire of the movie. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah I, I definitely go for it there. There's a lot more I can go into about the movie, but I'll leave it right. there. Yeah, we, don't, we want to give you some some details so you can be enticed. You've probably not even ever heard of this movie, yeah. but we don't want to give away everything. Yeah, Right, right, right. So we got to kind of juggle that a little bit as a balance yeah and it wasn't marketed that well so i don't think many people unless you went to the theaters and saw a trailer of it yeah you're not yeah. going to see probably a trailer like at home or even like a billboard or anything like that so yeah it's, actually what's weird this is the weird thing is when they talked about this morning uh, don's the one that mentioned that this movie was out and i'm like i didn't even hear about the movie till today and yeah, i like i'll see circle i heard it on uh, yeah. the radio this morning too and i was just like oh that's number two and then i saw it on my computer i'm like that's number three we need to go watch it there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he got overruled. And yeah. That's why we didn't go watch it. Yeah, we were going to watch Circle. <laughs> yeah. so, um, all right, guys. So that's our review of Slights. Yes. Slight. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Adan. See Jack. And we are Break Room Blitz, baby. Yes. Check out all this stuff. Oh, question of the day. Do you guys think that we should see um, more of these type of black films to so where it kind of and incorporate everyone. It's not just like the black experience because everyone has like some type of sci-fi, you know, fantasy. You know, mm -hmm. so I think I think I think we should have more of these. I think so. So let us know what you guys think, guys. Should there be more of these type of films? All right, we're out, baby. Peace. Peace.